Okay, in this video, I want to, I'm going to talk about trusting your gut. Okay, and I have a perfect ex example today of trusting your gut. Now, I, this is a nature preserve, and I come here every blue moon and um, walk around sometimes, take some pictures and stuff, and, uh, you know, and do some exercise, walk around and all. And I usually park in one particular spot. Okay, and it's kind of, you know, it's, it's the same same spot I usually park in. I'm not going to do that anymore. And I, and I started thinking, maybe I should stop doing that. But where I usually park right now, there is a man <clears throat> parked, like, right next the spot, right, the spot, it is the spot right next to where I park. And um, he's just sitting there. And I have been, I've been doing another video on transference and counter-transference. And uh, I wound up driving around and parking different spots because my gut told me this is not good. That man sitting there, just sitting there watching and looking, just felt odd. It's, it's a nice car and all that, you know. It's just not like it's, you know, I don't know if that would even make a difference, but it just seemed odd, you know. Okay, now, it probably has nothing to do with me, but there is a group of people standing, um, doing some work on the other side where he's sitting, and he, he could be, you know, someone waiting on one of them, but the, the, the thing about it was just that creepy feeling, and that is when people say, trust your gut, you know, when your gut gives you a creepy feeling, trust it, even if it turns out to be wrong, you know, well, there are people we know that fall on a different extreme on these, this kind of thing. You know, people, there are extremes of anything, on either end even. You know, who, somebody who might be a little paranoid, <clears throat> but, or, or major paranoid. But overall, if, if it's something that, to me, this is just my opinion. Remember, I'm not a healthcare professional or provider, you know, so this isn't counseling or advice. But to me, if it's, if it's your safety that's in, you know, question here, um, take, you know, be good to yourself. If it's something, you know, this, this is causing me a little problem with this guy sitting there because I want to walk around and everything, but I don't trust it. Just, he, it's odd, you know, and not trusting my gut, what could happen? A lot could happen, <laughs> you know, not just to me, it could be any of the people that he's sitting out there watching. That's, that's, I don't know. I think if someone is you know, with somebody, or waiting on somebody, maybe they should get out of the car and get involved, you know, that's my opinion, but anyway, this, this is a, to me, it's, it's a nice area for people to walk, but it needs, it needs to be when there are more people walking, <clears throat> got that, okay, and there are spots, you know, to me, as you can see, where there's a lot of trees, and I know, I'm starting to sound paranoid, but no, that, that gut feeling hitting me like that said, mm-mm, no, no. <laughs> I didn't drive all the way here just to sit out my, you know, SUV waiting, but yeah, that's kind of creepy. Okay, let's move on from my little rambling on, you know, this out here. But the trust your gut is also like, you meet somebody, you, you, you know, you, whatever it is, whatever situation, work or whatever and you meet somebody and immediately your gut as people call it you know it's, it's a um, survival instinct uh, survival response you know it says something's wrong with that person um, you know something's just not right you know and to many of us I don't know if it, it's everybody but or maybe some of us are more in tune with it or something but trust that that feeling don't you know I've done this before about wishful thinking you, you go to wishful thinking and saying you know maybe maybe that person's not so bad you know and that's part of the um, you know people have to call it cognitive dissonance but it's always been to me wishful thinking you know you wish that somebody wasn't that bad you know I did that when I was dating and doing the online dating thing I went through, you know, I would joke and say that I'd done my own speed dating, but I didn't do the speed dating that you hear about. But I would meet men back to back. And, uh, you know, off these dating websites. 
and you know, I went, I did the thing of taking a long while, I did the thing of taking a short while, I did the thing of checking them out, I did the things of, you know, all those things that people suggested, and none of it works. They're predators, they're predators, plain and simple. You know, we all know how these uh, narcissistic type people can be, you know, it doesn't have to be, I'm not diagnosing, but their behaviors are this way. They're good at fooling people, you know, they're master manipulators. Anyway, I, I did that, and I would meet somebody, and I'd say, oh. you know, my gut may have told me, you know, no, this this guy's bad, but the wishful thinking would come in, maybe I shouldn't trust it, you know, maybe I'm just being too judgmental, maybe, no, trust it. Okay, so anyway, I guess I'm going to trust myself and go somewhere else in here to go walking, because that's just creepy, but, and he's not moving. So, yeah. Anyway, but you, you get what I'm saying, and I, I keep feeling the need to do a video on this topic. Okay, it's to trust your gut, and I think this is something that we many of us fall into because, and I know that I can see it. Like I had a uh, something just happened to me in December, and when I shouldn't have, I, I didn't feel anything. You know, in fact. You know, I, I don't recall anything, but that's not paying enough, close enough attention, you know, to what it's, that was me being too occupied, preoccupied, or too occupied maybe, with something else, and not sit, not sitting there saying, you know, this is not healthy, this is not, you know, this person isn't right, because it caused, wound up causing me a lot of problems. You know, it was a salesman. I should have known better. <laughs> That's awful. It is awful to say that to generalize, but yeah. Anyway, I want to wrap this video up. If uh, if you want to subscribe to this channel, click the circle. If you want to watch another video in, on this channel, click one of the um, rectangles. I keep wanting to say triangle. If you want to share on your own social media, I recently found out that it's, that's a really good thing, and or give a thumbs up. Uh, feel free to do so, and I'll talk to you on another video. Bye.